Hi, my name is Cammie, and today we're gonna talk about how to fix those flams, make them sound really, really nice. And we're also gonna talk about this amazing, awesome, very cool tenor pad by this company from Canada called Mad Practice Pads. Really love the feel, really love the sound. Um, it's it's given me a different type of workout than any of my other practice pads, so I'm really loving it. Let's dive into this uh, warm up and how to fix your flams if you're having issues with them. We're gonna dive in deep to how to make sure your flams pop every single time. So today we're gonna talk about flams. And um, I'm really particular on the stick height for, for the flams, right? So you wanna have one stick that's just straight up and down. When you come down, you wanna make sure you end in line and you wanna basically have both sticks end up like that, right? You don't want to have sticks up here. Be really, really meticulous with your flams. You go up, bam. Go up. See, I'm not. I'm not just like oh. Like, I'm really strict. One inch above the practice pad. If my, if I'm doing a right flam, and if you're doing a right flam, that means your right is going to hit second. Your left is going to hit first. Right. One thing that's very important to remember about the flam is that there's a full stroke and a tap. So the full stroke is the one that the stick is up, straight up and down, perpendicular to the ceiling. And the tap is yeah, one inch up. hovering above I'm the practice to, pad. I'm not trying to move my arms too much. I'm trying to make sure I maintain the integrity of the rudiment. Because like most of the stuff, these rudiments like drum lines. You know? Everything is just like, mm. so I do drum line for a bit, but I carry that same type of mentality to drum set. I want to be really precise every time I hit something, every time I hit my, my flam, I want it to sound the same every time. Being consistent in everything that you're playing is what you really want to aim for as a drummer, as a musician. You wanna, you're, you're doing something on your charge. You could think You don't want it to be like, got it one time and I missed it the second time, or I got it ten times and I missed it four times after that. You know, so always aiming for um, consistency, hitting it every time, hitting it every time. How do you get something the same every time? I've noticed that I have to work on it really slow. You got to train the hands, the mind, the hands working together, right? So if I sit here and I practice it like this, I'm like, okay, make sure my my right hand is perpendicular with the ceiling. My left hand is uh, hovering one inch above the practice pad. Okay, I'm gonna do my flam now, right? Make sure both sticks stay in line. Okay, now I'm gonna go up with my left, my right. Make sure it stays right there. I'm not gonna prep. I'm gonna go straight down. Down, down, every time it's boom, boom, boom. Um, so this exercise that I came up on, splitting it over four pads, right? So this is what the flam accent looks like. And the exercise is flam accent, flam accent, flam, flam accent, flam accent, flam accent. So hope that helps. So make sure your technique is good when you're playing the flams. Your thumbs are in line with the stick. And when you do the flam, you want to raise that a full stroke and that tap. And you want them to, um, you want it to create a nice pop. Okay, so having the separation and a full stroke and a tap is going to automatically make it sound better. It'll give you a possibility for it to sound better. The most important thing is to make sure you keep your sticks, the unaccented note, you want to keep that really low. Because if your flams are not like, you know, the difference between your full stroke and your tap, it's not going to sound right. So I'm going to do it on one pad. You have a flam, okay? So you see how this is my stick perpendicular to the ceiling. And then this stick is about, about an inch hovering above the, the practice pad. So when I drop it, I'm just going straight down. I'm not gonna prep at all. I don't wanna end up with the two notes hitting at the same time. So up like this, flam. Like it's gonna get you a perfect flam every single time. 
when I was in high school, my plans were really, they were not consistent. And I was always like, man, like sometimes I get a nice pop, sometimes I don't, it's because you're not lining it up every time. So this is how you get the perfect flam every time. Make sure this is going to go straight, boom, straight down, flam, straight down. Okay, so, so what we're doing is a flam accent, a right flam, flam left, right, flam right, left. So right, left, right, right. So this is a quick and easy way you can apply the flam accent to the drum set. And here I'm demonstrating how to play the flam tap on the snare drum. So once you get the technique to play these flams, you're going to be able to play flam tap, flam accent, uh, Swiss Army Shrimp, any of these rudiments with no problem. So that's the goal. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Cami. Please like, subscribe more lessons, more drum videos to come. If you're interested in taking online lessons, uh, feel free to give me a text and uh, get something set up. So, um, yeah, I really love this practice pad because obviously it has different tones, uh, smaller sizes, and it, the tone of each pad is a little different. And then, so you kind of, it helps with when you're training your ears to be able to, um, you're playing on different surfaces, but also being able to hear a different sound. So that's all, that's all, uh, very, very helpful. So I reached out to this company called Mad Practice Pads, and I was like, I really love the look, the style, and I uh, would love to have me try, try their practice pads. So I'm sharing it with you guys and letting you know this is a really great, um, practice pad you know and most practice pads people just have are just like individual practice pads but this is great um, for working on different surfaces and then also like just literally moving your hands so like working on one drum working on one practice pad is, is great but sometimes like you get on the set and then you need to have that like I need to be able to move this uh, exercise around or this groove around the kids <laughs>Practicing your rudiments on the drum set, such as the flams, flam accent, flam taps, is a great way to start pushing the crea your creativity to the next level. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing a series of different types of rudiments and just trying to blend them together to make them sound musical.